Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be telling you guys about some clues and some real life events that might actually indicate when the gun running DLC is going to be coming out. So I'm going to try and keep this as short and concise as I possibly can today because we do have a lot of information to go over. So let me give you guys my opinion first. I think gun running is going to come out on Tuesday, June 6th, which is the first Tuesday in June. Now, the reason I choose that is for a couple reasons. For some obvious ones, uh, number one, Tuesday is the day Rockstar has released basically 99% of all their DLCs, so that's why I believe it's going to happen then. Also, for a couple other reasons, number one, it's following the exact same pattern that Rockstar has done, not only in 2015, but in 2016 as well when it comes to the month of June. 2015 was Ill-Gotten Gains Part 1, 2016 was Finance and Felony, which oddly enough came out a day after June 6th on June 7th that day. So that's another reason why I think that's going to happen. Rockstar have a pattern of releasing things in June. They also have a pattern of releasing things a week before E3 which happens on the 13th, 14th, and 15th of June. Another reason why I could see something like that occurring. In addition, as far as the timeline goes, it kind of also obviously makes sense. We're out of the content from Cunning Sun Special Vehicle Circuit. If we go through all of May with no content, it would basically be a full month with no new uh, items in the game. And that's typically when we see Rockstar introduce new things uh, in Grand Theft Auto Online as well. Now, if we look at the Newswire, when Rockstar have only mentioned gun running once. Now, I'm sure you guys have seen this multiple times, so this isn't going to be new information for you, but as far as getting us caught up on everything, it is kind of important to uh, to read this really quickly. And it was on the bottom of one of their Newswire posts, they say gun running and more coming later this spring and summer. So we're not going to focus on the details, but they say gun running and more coming later this spring and summer. So to me, that means gun running and then either more tunables content or another update is going to be coming out in the spring and then ending in the summer. Now, spring actually ends about the third week of June. I think it officially ends on either June uh, 21st or 22nd. So if Rockstar were to release gun running on June 6th, it would start in the spring spring and it's likely that the tunables content would take us sometime into the summer or at a minimum another DLC would be released in the summer as summer doesn't end till sometime in September so that's a really really long time so those are some reasons and some clues that you might have heard floating around and all of those logistically and from the history of Rockstar goes they all make sense however I'm going to talk about something that not a lot of people have brought up and that is June 6th relationship to a real life historical event. And that historical event is the anniversary of D-Day or the Normandy landings. Now, I don't know if this is a holiday or just a date that we kind of look back on and remember as a very historical moment in history. So D-Day happened on Tuesday, June 6th, 1994, and it was the Allied invasion of Normandy. Now, this has been recreated in movies and video games, but it was probably one of the biggest turning points of World War II, and it contributed to the allied victory on the western front and it really shaped the way the world kind of fell into place today so it was a huge historical event and it's recognized with museums and memorials and ceremonies and cemeteries all over the world honoring people that fought in the battle and that contributed as well so it's a day that a lot of people pay respects to and that people look on and admire now what does that have to do with anything well that was one of the largest military operations in the history of the world. And we know that gun running is going to be a militia slash military slash army DLC. Wouldn't it make sense for Rockstar to release their update, possibly on the exact same day? Now, I can hear you guys right now. Well, what does Rockstar care about D-Day? Why would they release their DLC on the same day? Whether they want to avoid conflict in any way, shape, or form, or maybe they just don't care about it at all. Well, that actually goes against what Rockstar has done for previous updates. You guys might remember the San Andreas Flight School update. That update was all about new airplanes, flight school challenges, is the San Andreas Flight School itself. Well, that actually came out on August 19th, 2014. And wouldn't you know that August 19th is National Aviation Day in the United States. So National Aviation Day is observed in the United States on the 19th of August each year to celebrate the history and development of aviation. 
So I think Rockstar didn't do that unintentionally. And if they did, it was probably the world's biggest coincidence that the one kind of flight school aerial airplane update we get comes out on Aviation Day. Now, this isn't actually the first time that Rockstar has done something like this, where they've linked an update to a specific date or a historical event. If you guys remember in 2014, the first Valentine's Day update was called Valentine's Day Massacre Special. So that name, even though it sounds pretty cool, was actually based off of a real life event, the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. This is something that occurred on February 14th, 1929 in Chicago, where seven men from the North Side Irish gang were murdered during the Prohibition era, and it gave rise to Italian gang leader Al Capone. So this was like a real thing that happened, and Rockstar kind of used the name and the play on words of that to create the St. Valentine's Massacre DLC. So like I said, this isn't the first time that they've done something like this. So that's why I can see this being more and more likely as we reveal facts like this. So I honestly believe that Rockstar is going to do the same thing here and that to, I wouldn't really necessarily say to celebrate D-Day, but it's kind of a nice reference, release the military update into Grand Theft Auto Online as the same day as D-Day which is honestly something I could see happening. Now, even if June 6th wasn't D-Day, for all the reasons I mentioned earlier, I still think the update is coming out. With the way Rockstar has done previous DLCs, its relation to E3, the remaining content or lack of content that we don't have in the game, all signs are pointing to June 6th. And if we want to look at this even further, it was a poll that was posted on the GTA Forum site, and it was, when do you think gun running will release? And so far, the majority of people have voted for the first half of June, which would be those first two weeks. And honestly, that makes a lot of sense there, with second place being the second half of May, third place being the first half of May, and fourth place being the second half of June. And one of the people that has actually voted for the first half of June is Yan one of the most reputable leakers, insiders of Rockstar Games news. Now, he has said that this is just an educated guess, but I still think he might know a little bit something that we don't. And I don't know. I think that if he believes it's going to be coming out in the first half of June, which is either June 6th or the following Tuesday after that, which would be the 13th, I think he's onto something, and I think that, honestly, it makes the most sense for it to release in that first week of June on June 6th. So I want to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. I know there's going to be a lot of discussion in this video. Do you think for all the reasons I mentioned, but more importantly, the D-Day event, do you think that's when Rockstar will release gun running on June 6th? And could D-Day be a sign that that's when it's going to be coming out because of the historical significance? I'd love to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.